Hello, welcome to my daily science vlog. My name is Luke Olson, and today I will be introducing the great Robert Wilson. And my first question for you is, could you please tell us your name and tell us a little bit about your project? Thank you for having me on. My name is Robert Wilson, and my project really started when I was working at Bell's lab in 1962. My colleague and I, my colleague and I, Arno Penaz, we're using the Bell Labs to use their giant antenna as a telescope. During our time at Bell's Labs, uh, we discovered some unknown interference. After doing some research, we now call it cosmic microwave radiation. Now we know a little bit about your research. What were you guys trying to find? At the beginning, we were doing research with masers, also known as Microwave amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. And using masers, we wanted to measure the weak radio signals coming from the Milky Way and other galaxies. When conducting our research, we noticed what was what you call sort of a background noise. After eliminating as many variables as possible from our system, we came to the conclusion that the background noise was leftover radiation from a large-scale cosmic event, now known as the Big Bang Theory. And after this one discovery, it pushed the scientific community so far that we received the Nobel Prize. That all sounds pretty good. So when exactly did all your research occur? Yeah, the project takes place in Bell Labs in Homeville, New Jersey in 1962. But a lot of our, there's a lot of, you know, to every big project, there's a lot of pre-work. So we started to assemble our team from 1958 to 1960. And we spent a lot of time publishing our research afterwards. Okay, you got to tell us, what other significant events were happening around the world that affected your research in some kind? There's no denying that one major event that affected our research the most was the Cold War. It's hard to do research when there's a war happening. Funny thing is that the nuclear bomb testing nearby was initially one of the ideas of why we, why we were getting background radiation, but we ruled that out. Another one was the test star satellite that launched and that gave us access to an older eco antenna to use for our research. As we all know, research takes more than just one person. Who else was involved in your project? Yes, it, um, it takes a team to do as much research as we did. And of course, there was Arno Penzaz with me with the project, but we couldn't have done it without the help of Robert Dickey. He was looking for evidence to prove the Big Bang, and we wouldn't have been able to come to the conclusion without the help of Robert Dickey. Okay, it was good to hear that you're supported by a lot of good people, but what was your role specifically in this project? As previously stated, my role in the project was to work closely with Arno Penaz to monitor and research the sky of all the radiation we are seeing. And using that, we worked with Robert Dickey to analyze and track the background radiation and to implement our research to make a theory. Next question. What impact would you say that your project had on the physics community? Our team's research caused a great stride in the knowledge of the creation of the universe around us, the Big Bang. It's funny because we were researching such small traces of radiation but that small trace of radiation led us to such a big discovery. So just knowing, no matter how small your work seems, it can lead to a, such a big discovery. Final question, but this is probably the juiciest question. As you know, before all your research, the state theory was pretty well accepted. How did people react to contradicting the well-known state theory with your Big Bang Theory. Yes, this is actually um, one of the harder parts of our research. Um, our team's research actually contradicted my own beliefs about the state theory. 
as you probably know, until this point, we were all um, taught the state theory. The state theory is the universe was always as has it's been and it will forever be the way it is. But as you know, you can't be a scientist without being able to accept change. So knowing that there was a big bang dismissed the state theory and pushed our science community forward. Alrighty, thank you for coming in today. I highly appreciate you taking the time talking with us and hopefully I will interview you again soon. Yes, of course. Thank you for having me on and I look forward to speaking with you again soon. Goodbye.